Hey guys, it's Aman and Christina from, from Our, Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. Today, we are talking about investing in artificial intelligence. If you have not been keeping up with AI, you may be getting left behind, especially when it comes to investing in the stock market with an AI emphasis. So in this video, our focus is going to be on how you can invest in AI companies. And we're going to give you specific examples, including one specific stock that has actually reached 182% return year to date. So let's get started by first talking about AI in general. So a lot of you have probably been exposed to AI through something like ChatGPT, or you've seen these deep fake AI artwork. Well, let's really boil it down to what it is specifically. Now, AI is a branch of computer science aiming to build machines capable of mimicking human intelligence. You have to think of AI as a machine learning from experience, and it's adjusting to new inputs and performing tasks that would typically require human intelligence. So it's things like understanding natural language, recognizing patterns, problem solving, and actually making decisions. So AI isn't just considered cool tech, it's actually a way for companies to seriously save money. And that's what you should really understand when you're thinking about investing in AI. So first in terms of companies and AI's impact on companies, it allows companies to really automate certain processes. So with automation, companies can use AI to do more repetitive tasks, which allows its human employees to focus on more strategic and creative tasks. And this allows the companies in general to reduce their expenses and be more efficient. The second thing that AI is so powerful at doing is something called predictive analysis. You see, AI can analyze a vast amount of data to make predictions, like which products will sell the best or when equipment might need maintenance. This helps companies make smarter decisions and prevent costly problems. Now, companies are also using AI to improve customer experiences. For example, they have chatbots that they can run 24 seven with the help of AI. This allows companies again to run more efficiently by handling customers problems more quickly while also lowering costs. Companies have also been using AI to do personalized marketing where AI can analyze customer data to create personalized marketing campaigns which are more cost effective and get a better return on their investment. Now it's important to remember that with all of these benefits that AI has been producing, there are some downfalls. And we're going to talk about one major one. You see, labor is a huge cost for companies and they are using AI in order to reduce labor so that they can have greater profits. And this is just one example of something that you should be aware of. If you choose to invest in AI, it's important that you take a complete holistic approach to your investments, looking at the pros and cons. So with that said, let's talk about how you can potentially invest in artificial intelligence. And the first way is by investing in these blue chip stocks that are really focused on AI development. So that includes companies like Google, Microsoft, IBM, and Intel. These companies have substantial AI divisions and are heavily investing in research and development for AI. And these are the companies that are going to be bringing AI to the customer, to the everyday person. So keeping up with these companies means listening to their earnings call, understanding how they are using that AI technology and that research to produce products and services. These blue chip companies are going to be the front line of AI. So the next way to invest in AI are through the smaller companies, not the big blue chip companies, but the smaller companies that are at the forefront of starting up AI. These are the companies that you might not necessarily find on the stock market because they are startups. And so for a high risk investment that may have a high return, consider investing in AI startups through crowdfunding platforms like Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or GoFundMe. This way you get to participate in the early stages of what could be revolutionary AI. So next, if you want to diversify your portfolio more than just individual stocks, you can look at AI specific ETFs and we're going to talk about two. And the first one has had a 35% year to date return. It's called the Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF, BOTZ. 
So like I said, this ETF is up over 35% year to date. It provides market cap selected and weighted exposure to companies involved in the development and production of robots or artificial intelligence. The next ETF is called iShares Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Multi-Sector ETF. IRBO. It offers exposure to a diverse range of AI companies and year to date it's up 23% and Meta takes up a big portion of this ETF. So the next way to invest in AI is to do it indirectly. Instead of investing in companies that are developing the actual AI, you can invest in companies that are developing the hardware or the semiconductors that are used to produce this type of AI. So AI operations require powerful processing chips and companies that manufacture these chips like NVIDIA and Advanced Micro Devices AMD could be a really good investment. So NVIDIA, for example, is up over 182% year to date. So another way to invest in AI is to invest in cloud computing stocks. AI requires a significant amount of data storage and computing power. So investing in cloud companies like Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services can be a really great idea. Now these are both blue chip companies, but we are specifically calling them out because they also have cloud computing services that are huge and that will play a big role in AI storage and development. The next way to invest in AI is to invest in healthcare companies that are focusing more of their efforts in developing AI. So AI is making significant strides in healthcare, aiding in everything from patient care to drug discovery. Companies like Illumina, which use AI and genetic research, or healthcare firms like Teladoc Health could be worthy of your consideration. So keep in mind that your investments in AI don't have to be locally, as in investing in the US stock market, for example. You can also look at emerging markets to invest in AI. So the idea is to really look beyond the scope of the US stock market and see if investing in companies that focus on AI development in emerging markets can really help your portfolio grow. And the last way, and our favorite way to invest in AI is through a broad-based technology ETF like Vanguard's VGT. We have talked about VGT so many times on our channel because we like this sector specific ETF that focuses on technology. And VGT over the past six months has been on fire because it contains many of the companies that we talked about throughout this video. It has the Microsofts, the NVIDIA, the Metas, <laughs> everything, Amazon, Google. It has it all in VGT. It is a comprehensive technology ETF with a low expense ratio. And we love that especially. And so as you are on this journey of learning more about artificial intelligence, it's important that you stay up to date when you are investing in this sector. We really don't want you guys to be left behind. And so we hope this video has given you guys some food for thought as you develop your investment portfolio. Now, if you guys wanna learn more about investing in the stock market for financial independence and retiring early, you must check out our investing course. We will leave a link to it in the description below. It is a four hour course full of resources. And by the end of this course, you will have your own investment plan for FIRE. And so if you guys have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and join, join the, the journey. journey.